2018 was the latest vintage of Port, and these are the Flaggate collections from Taylor's, Fonseca and Croft. Today we're looking at the Fonseca Gummerenge and handing over to Tony and Dia to see what they think. Fonseca belongs to the Flatgate partnership where they actually create Taylor's, Fonseca and Croft. And although Taylor's declared the Taylor's as a classic vintage, Fonseca this year they opted to leave it as a single quinta. And that's particularly because the vineyards of Fonseca are situated in the middle Duro in an area called Simacorgo. Um, and perhaps the vintage and the weather and the climatic um, influences of that particular year did not create uh, the best conditions for a classic declaration. However, these vineyards are fantastic and they make exceptional wines. So they decided, and always when there's not a, an official classic Fonseca declaration, uh, the Flatgate Partnership decides to declare this uh, Guimarães as their second port. The port is fantastic. They're always very approachable. Uh, they're ready to drink earlier and they're fantastic price and quality ratio. So this is the first uh, Fonseca grown since 2015? Absolutely. Another great year that was not, you know, um, given the attention it deserved, I believe, yeah. as well. Colour-wise, it's like most ports. It's uh, dark, inky, purple-black. On the nose, I'm getting that typical red cherry aromas, mm -hmm. typical of Fonseca. Uh, there's a little bit of violets, spice, dark chocolates. The violets tend to come from the Torrigo Franca grape that just give that really intense violet ar aroma. So aroma-wise, this is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Would you like to add anything at all, dear? That, and I also get a lot of this uh, minerality. It's some sort of, nobody can explain minerality, but it's sort of a perception that people will understand if they smell it. There's like this cleanliness, and I, I really enjoy it. Okay, should we taste yeah, it? Absolutely. I find still the black fruit, the, the red yeah. fruit follow through in the palate as well. How, what do you think about the tannins, Tony? Really grippy. Yes, well, yeah, absolutely. I found them to be a little bit creepy, a little bit other, which is not necessarily a bad thing because uh, they will give this um, port structure to keep it going in the future years to develop itself. Um, Are you finding there's a little bit of an alcohol rush as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A little bit of hint of alcohol there. But uh, overall, the wine is very balanced. Um, the acidity is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely lovely. Um, the, the finish... Um, it's long, you know, uh, the aromas follow through. It's absolutely lovely. Absolutely yeah, it, lovely. It, it's a lovely wine. Lovely little wine. Really lovely enjoying wine. it. So yeah, we're, we're going to have to, we're going to have to score this, dear. Well, yeah, I'll score it. Okay, I think it's around 93 points. And, and, and why is that? Well, I, I do find it's a balanced wine. It has the intensity of flavours that you would have expected from a young port. Uh, it's not lacking in any of these whatsoever. Uh, it's not as intense uh, as I would have expected from a classic vintage. Yeah. Um, however, it's out there, uh, and although I cannot give it an excessive amount of points, I, I do think it's still outstanding, so I will give it 93. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely, well-made wine. Um, again, I'll just go back to the tannins, a little, little Please, grippy, yeah. uh, the alcohol, probably just not quite perfect in balance, but it's a single quinta. So, it's exceptional value as well. You've got, so I'd, I'd give this about 92 points, 92. Um, and I have to say, single Kinter, it's amazing value for, for what it is. Uh, and it will continue to last for another 30, 40 years. Uh, it probably needs another four or five years in, in the cellar before it's, uh, it's more approachable. At that point, it will be a delicious wine, but it's only gonna get better in time. So one to buy, really good value, store and put away. Absolutely.